begin with what is CS, CMS. So CMS is for meeting server. So for uh, some time, let me just give you a brief introduction about it. So for some time, Cisco's direction has been cloud first only, but not necessarily uh, cloud only because although uh, in much of the world, there is high demand for cloud solution. That is definitely true, but there is still a case for an on-premise conferencing solution. And many companies and institutions uh, continue to use the on-premise solution for their security and centralized control and management. So Cisco had three different conferencing solutions, WebEx Teams, WebEx Meetings, and uh, Cisco Meeting Server, Jabber. So I, I'm saying Cisco had three because Cis, uh, WebEx has now been unified uh, recently. So it had three different conferencing solutions, these, but WebEx has now been uni unified and it's now just WebEx. Yeah. The idea behind the larger WebEx platform is that you have this messaging platform that you have uh, for messaging platform as you could scale up to a meeting and we can join the meeting quickly and easily. For example, if I'm in a space for instant messaging with one or more people, I could launch that space with just a click of a button and all other participants could join in. That is one way of doing meetings. So there is a scheduled meeting versions of these scenarios as well. But the point about the WebEx platform, uh, largely speaking, is based on the cloud. Then you have Cisco Meeting Server for it, which is an on-premise solution. So with uh, CMS, you can use Cisco Jabber or video endpoints, all the, the Cisco video endpoints or other applications to join into these meetings. But as CMS is an on-premise solution, it is hosted in your environment. That means you are in the control of the infrastructure and security, which is really important for some organizations. So that is why still a CMS on-premise is still in demand. And Cisco is committed to bring uh, premises-based video, audio, and web communications together to meet this collaboration need of the modern workspace. So these are the different ways we have and uh, deploying methods we have. So it will work with third party devices as well. For example, you could use Cisco's endpoints, but you could also use, uh, let's say, polycom devices or soft clients, uh, web clients to work with it. So it is uh, highly uh, scalable and it is compatible with a lot of other solutions as well. So in terms of platforms, yeah, so these are the applications, iPhone, uh, IP phones and video devices, accessories, infrastructures that it supports. So as part of the deployment platform, we have CMS 1000 appliance, we have CMS 2000 and third party server. CMS 2000 appliance basically is a a uh, base metal installation, which is a hardware. Whereas uh, 1000 and third party supports the virtual installation using VMware ESXi host also. So CMS also supports co consistent, uh, like one meeting experience by preserving the end user experience to uh, no matter what devices are used to connect to the meeting. There is also interoperability with WebRTC. Uh, WebRTC is real-time transport communication. This lets the users to connect to the meetings using web browser, for example, Firefox or Chrome. These are the two which are recommended by Cisco also, uh, which makes it high, highly scalable. And so high scalability is offered in both appliance and as well as virtual deployment. So you can cluster also multiple meeting servers together, which will give you resiliency, scalability, and efficiency also. Uh, from the uh, cluster standpoint, the number of clusters it can have also varies. So in case of, let's suppose, a uh, single cluster, it can support up to eight. And for large deployments, it can support up to 24, depending on the type of service you want, like database on all servers, or web admin on specific servers, web bridge. We will talk about that in more detail, but just for introduction for now, let's see an introduction here. 
So what does Cisco Meeting Server offers? These are the various offerings by Cisco Meeting Server. So it offers two on-premises deployment platforms uh, using either the Meeting Server 1000 appliance server or a virtual machine application that can be installed using VMware ESXi or a Microsoft Hypervisor. Uh, it gives you consistent one meeting experience using Meeting Server by preserving the end user experience. Then interoperability with Microsoft Link or Skype for Business, not use anymore, but uh, still we can have the solution. Then interoperability with WebRTC, which allow the users to connect to the meetings using their web browsers like Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. So you just need to have a camera, a microphone, speaker, and display on your device, and you can just simply go to your web browser and access the meetings. And uh, by default, the meetings for web browsers have a specific setting and a configuration. So those specifications are a 1080p video, a premium audio, and two-way content sharing. So these are the what WebRTC allows. Then high scalability is offered in both the appliance and virtual uh, deployment models. So multiple meeting servers can be clustered together, and that gives you resiliency, uh, scalability, and efficiency. So uh, meeting server is a product for on-premises deployment. It can be deployed as appliance and virtual machine on VMware ASXi or hypervisor, which is the same thing. Just uh, to add here on on-premises, this is a CMR solution. Yeah. So it's a CMR solution that can be deployed as an application, a CMR as well as for virtual machine. Uh, Whereas there are different other options for platforms, for example, uh, depending on the platform that you have chosen, for example, in case of CMS 1000, it supports a different number of calls. Let me type it down here for you. So, so if the customers are using UCS platform, yeah. in UCS platform, uh, you have meeting server 1000, we have CMS 2000. So CMS 1000 supports up to 96 uh, uh, video calls, which comes in one unit or one rack. You can say one rack unit. Whereas CMS 2000 supports up to 500 video calls that comes with a six rack unit. OK, so for customers who have purchased the Akano solution before, that was uh, how it began. So that was the Akano solution. They can still use Akano appliances servers, but the new customers would deploy the CMS as an appliance using the Cisco UCS platform. And in the UCS platforms, these are the options we have. Then some features. So Cisco meeting server features are these. It offers uh, one meeting experience. It offers features like make a call from Cisco app. Here, app, endpoint. Yeah, you can use a physical endpoint or a third party application. It supports TIP for non TIP. TIP is just, just like in the SIP endpoints, we have SIP protocol. TIP is for telepresence. This is this stands for telepresence interoperability protocol. So the telepresence interoperability protocol uh, endpoints or non TIP endpoints also are supported to make calls. So you can use either Cisco meeting app or a physical endpoint third party application or use TIP or non TIP devices. You can communicate in the space, uh, communicate in space using the camera, microphone, just with having uh, your basic configurations uh, that gives you various options like mute, activate your microphone, share screen or an application 
chat, uh, change devices, screen layouts, keypads, call information, all are these the part of the uh, communication uh, in the space. Then we have option to bring your own device, BYOD. So use your own device to see presentations. Some of the meeting server endpoints are provided with that. You can use your own device to chat with the other participants. Transfer calls to iPhone app. It is also supported there. Then some meeting server capabilities. So in the capabilities, we can see we can place calls between Skype for Business and uh, meeting apps or server spaces. So these are the supported capabilities. So it offers seamless integration with Microsoft Skype for Business, not commonly used now, but uh, through this integration, users can uh, get the features like calls can be placed between these uh, Skype for Business and meeting application users. Uh, between Skype for Business and meeting server spaces. So with that, you can create after calls uh, are placed. Users can be added to local directories. Chat is not supported in application users, but is supported in the meeting server spaces. Then we have uh, yeah, we have web RTC interoperability with meeting server uh, for real time. Uh, telecommunications. So WebRTC is just a protocol that will allow the communication through web browser, and it gives you two-way audio, two-way video, uh, two-way content sharing. So by just simply clicking a link, you can join the meeting. That is the advantage of WebRTC. So Cisco Meeting Server offers this interoperability with WebRTC, which is a protocol to allow participants to communicate through the web browser. This was uh, created by Google uh, and then later developed as a joint effort between Google and Mozilla. So they have together now created this as WebRTC. Uh, although many other companies have adopted this protocol into their browsers. So as a recommendation, two best browsers to use for seamless WebRTC uh, recommended by both Google, Mozilla and now Cisco as well. Uh, recommends using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox only for these as the be better version supported for CMS. Then lastly, a uh, cluster meeting server. So as all other components of unified collaboration, meeting server also provides you clustering, which gives resiliency, scalability, and efficiency. So with re resiliency, that just simply means that you can cluster multiple like units to operate as one resilient unit. Uh, if one call bridge goes down, the meetings can be hosted on the other one, or you can have more than one depending on the database. Then scalability is there. You can have increased uh, capacity with the, the scalability. You can scale up or scale down. So meetings can be hosted uh, across the multiple call bridges. If one does not have the capacity to host all the participants, it can move to the other one. So uh, lastly, efficiency. The efficiency uh, meeting server provides uh, to use uh, using different platforms. So particip the participants can call into the meetings from different locations. You can use different components or devices uh, while keeping the uh, simpler deployment. 